<laughs> okay, world. So this is the Shafeco that I have. Actually, print, actually cutting. I've gotten some decent confidence that I got my feeds and speeds right, since I'm no longer tipping or having any other issues. I've printed my own spacers to replace the the existing spacers. That's simply because the existing spacers were giving me too many tipping problems, and I wanted something that's stronger. So these are much stronger than the other spacers that I was using before, because they're orders of magnitude thicker. And then I'm using Proctor Face on my Macintosh, and I use Sign for it to generate the decode. And as you can see, it's already uh, gotten some layers together. I've set my motion to six millimeters per second, and I've set the layer height at 0.1 millimeters. So you can probably go deeper and faster, but I'm a little afraid to do that right now. 12 volt micromot. 3D printed motor mount. It has uh, limit switches on there. Though they're hard to see in the wiring mess. The X one actually works the best. And uh, it now works relatively well.